Happy Friday, good morning, Red Army. This is your boy Casey, aka Face, doing this for 1870 Casuals. We're brought to you by Terrace Coat Moo Moo Mia Ice Cream. Shout out Mark once again to Moo Moo Mia Ice Cream. He's the greatest. I need some flavors in my life other than women. Well, here it is. I'm just going to get you caught up on the latest news um, in the world of Manchester United and give you my prediction and my lineup for tomorrow. Uh, first of all, let's start off on the injury front. As we know, Luke is out. Um, Mount is out. Kobe Mano's out. Uh, um, our backup goalie is out. Tom Heaton's out. Uh, la 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 la. Rasmus Holland. There was uh, we we had a, a rumor said last night that Eric Ten Hag confirmed that he was going to play against Northern Forest. That's turned out not to be true. Uh, he just started training with the team today, so. In actuality, he has still got a lot of work to do to get caught up. They're looking for a set date, maybe possibly being back for um, the Arsenal match. So that's nothing new. Um, we knew there's a chance that he wasn't going to play. Um, Luke Shaw took a hit. Obviously, that's uh, massive for us. Uh, we're down to three fullbacks right now. So I can see Diego Delo being moved to the left. And Juan Pasaka on the right, and then we're going to have Alvaro Fernandez on the backup, which is a bit concerning. <coughs> Leads me into the next topic. It says Manchester United is um, have made inquiries or, or looking into a replacement, excuse me, uh, fullback, and they've reached out to the entourage of Ryan Bertrand from Southampton. How do you reach out to someone's entourage? Are you talking to his uncle, his cousin, his barber, his 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 bay? I don't know. But the point is, if we're making inquiries and getting a, another fullback, that means we must have funds to get this fullback. Because if not, we're just bait. We're just sending hopes and dreams. And it's a bit concerning to me seeing that what's going on with our midfield position. I know. It's, Eric Ten Hag had his press conference today, and he said he was happy with his midfield. And I understand what him saying that, but we still need reinforcements. Uh, Mano's been out since uh, Las Vegas, or before Las Vegas. Uh, Mount was out, uh, been out for over a week. And even before the Mount and Mano injuries, we knew we needed a midfield reinforcement to help with the CDM or a defensive-minded midfielder who could progress the ball. So Fane Amrabat was the guy. He's been waiting for us since June. I don't understand why Guan. And the worst thing about So Fane Amrabat, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into him. Um uh came out today. Manchester United has been given the approval from um Florentina to to purchase a player. They've They've raised the ask. They've lowered the asking price. He's been waiting for us since June. What is the holdup? We have six days maybe left in the transfer window, and we have not yet to even make a bid for this player. I'm just a bit concerned. I know this um, football operations department got off to a good start, and it seemed like they had a momentum going, but it's cooled off, and it's cooled off drastically. It's scary how much it's it's cooled off. We we've got to figure out what we want to do here. We we're playing games and we we're tiptoeing and and all the I know these are a lot of rumors and they're probably they don't control but rumors are all coming from somewhere. I mean, why would someone? I mean, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm just a little bit concerned um, about how we're moving right now, how we're going to approach the season. It doesn't seem like we're too serious. Listen, if we don't have the money, people, real talk. Just borrow it. Just help make more debt. Just take it. Just just, just put it on your credit card. We're already $900 billion in debt because of the Glaciers and stuff. What's another $50 million? Use $50 million and get two more players. Just add 50, mil, 50, 50 million euros or, or pounds on the debt. Just add on it. Who cares? Go for another 120 I don't know. Just go ape shit. What's what? What is another? I know I just said fifty million. Let's go seventy million. Going to add hurt nine hundred million. If Qatar buys a team, brother, they'll they'll pay it because you're making the team better. That's all it is. So 
we we're going off uh, where we get caught up. So Rasmus, well, let's go into the, my lineup and prediction for tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to get emotional. Listen, right, real talk, I'm very confident going into this match. I know I might be biased a little bit, but I'm extremely confident, you know. What makes me confident is our midfield, and I'll go into my lineup. First of all, I'm going to go into my lineup. Um, obviously, we have a problem at the center forward position, a huge problem. Um, but one thing is, Marcus Rashford is not the solution for it. God love him, he's not the solution, because his body language is long, and he's not effective. We need Marcus Rashford effective. We need Marcus Rashford potent. We need him dangerous. So that's why I'm putting him back on the left. Who am I going to start at center forward? Am I going to go with a false nine to Sancho and have Anthony on the right? No, I'm not going to go do that. I am playing Anthony Martial, our only striker on the roster. I don't give a shit if he gets hurt again. What difference does it make? Everybody else is hurt. Play him till he get hurt. And I'm, when I go on my, on, my, on my left wing, I'm not going to play Anthony. He, I think he needs to be benched. I'm not happy with his play. I'm not happy with the production. I'm not happy with the decision making. It's cost us in many ways. It's made us so one dimensional on the right side. The right side is a dead team. We need control and creativity on the right side. I'm going to go with Sancho. Sancho, I believe, will alpha us a lot more on the right than Anthony will right now. And I actually believe Pelestri would do that more than Anthony will right now. So I'm, I'm bringing Pelestri off the bench before I bring Anthony on. I'm just not happy with his play. I think he needs to sit down, relax, get a grasp, and understand what his role is. Real talk. The midfield, I'm going to go with the midfield that won a lot of games last year. I'm going to go with Bruno, Erickson, and Casemiro. Listen, these guys have done it for a whole season last year. Well, for 85% of the season last year. They won a lot of games last year for us. They got us to a Caribou Cup. They got us to too many finals. They got us... Deep runs, they got us third in the Premier League. I'm confident. That's one reason why I'm really confident about this match is because our midfield. They've played together, they understand each other's role, and they can simple, simplify the game for each other. The communication there is perfect. I think the Mason Mount thing, we still have yet to figure that out, and it's going to take time, and he won't be back till the end of international break anyway, so it's going to take a time for that to work. My back four... I'm going with Dago Delo. He's done it before. He's going to bring creativity to the to the left. I'm actually excited that he's in. I felt Luke Shaw looked a little sluggish, not um, potent. Um, he just didn't look like Luke Shaw of the old. Maybe they said that maybe he might be tired, a little bit knackered, beat down from the, from last year's season, whatever it is. But he's injured. So Dago Delo. I'm going with Licha, Varane, and Aaron Basaka, and of course Anana and Net. Um, feeling that I'm confident about this game. I wanted to say 2-0, but I feel like we're not playing good as a team, so I can see a goal coming in. So I'm going with a 2-1, a tight 2-1. And I'm looking for more ball control. I'm a little bit more respect of the ball, not, not so risky with the passing. I want us to be patient, get guys in position. Let's move the ball around. We are better players. We have better players than Northern, Nottingham Forest. Let's show it. Don't get impatient and rush. No more this long ball stuff unless it's there. But it seems like we were going too much long ball, long ball, trying to catch people on the break. Let's be more possession-based. Let's control the game. Let's be a mature team like we were last year. And I, I like this lineup. This would have been 